Kelly's Reading Corner, Kelly's Reading Corner. Because what else would I be doing with two kids during a pandemic but reading picture books? So join us. Hey guys, welcome back to Kelly's Reading Corner. And today we will be having a superhero adventure. I have some super friends here with me to help me tell the story of Even Superheroes Have Bad Days. It is written by Shelley Becker and illustrated by Etta Caban. Let us dive in heroically. And now here are the superheroes of our super story. We have Beastie, Zing, Thrash, Laser Man, Magnifique, Screecher, Typhoon, and Icky. Now, I know and you know that there's probably some bad days going around. We all have bad days. And I like this story because it reminds me of that. And it also reminds me that on those bad days, we have choices. Even though we don't feel like we might, we do. So let's see how our superhero friends deal with bad days. I think they have some good ideas. Here we go. <gasps> when superheroes don't get their way, when they're sad, when they're mad, when they have a bad day, they could use superpowers to kick, punch, and pound. They could shriek. They could screech with an ear-piercing sound. They could crush wooden crates and bend metal gates. They could throw trucks and buses across several states or provinces. They could knock over buildings like towers of blocks and crumble the streets into rubble and rocks. They could use laser eyes to ignite forest fires or fling boomerangs to deflate town's tires. That's just mean. Mm. But upset superheroes have all sorts of choices. Instead of destruction and loud, livid voices, they burn angry steam off with speed of light hiking or super extreme outer space mountain biking. That's so cool. Oh, they race to the rescue of people in need and delight in the joy of a super good deed. They hatch super plans to help banish world sadness, building fabulous theme parks for giggles and gladness. They chase wanted bad guys with supercharged zing, dragging hundreds to jail while police dance and sing. They track down and tame super menacing beasts and transform pity parties to victory feasts. But displeased superheroes who don't feel serene could have super temptation to cause a bad scene. They could blast icy blizzards on hot afternoons or walloping twisters and monster typhoons. They could spin super webs super far super sticky and tangle up towns with their silk super icky. Oh, there's icky being a bad superhero. They could rotate the planet and mess up world time or sit back and relax while the world fills with crime. When superheroes don't get their way, when they're sad, when they're mad, when they've had a bad day, they could super rampage, they could, but they don't. Because real superheroes just wouldn't, they won't. Oh, here's the solution. They're all sitting down 
to meditate, which just means to sit and think about their emotions as they come up one by one by one. Instead, they dig down to their super best part, the strong superpowers contained in their heart. And using their talents as true superheroes could, they battle the urge to do harm, though they could. They acknowledge their sorrow, their anger, their pain, as they wait for their super emotions to wane. And wane means to slowly go away. And they know it's okay to frown. It's okay if they sigh. It's even okay if they slump down and cry. Well, I've certainly been there, have you? But then they get up and they get on with their day, saving the world in their most super way. Oh, and then they party. Looks like they're roasting marshmallows, singing songs, and having a good old time together. Well, that's an interesting one, isn't it? I think everybody has really big emotions right now. And the best thing that you can do is be like a superhero and realize that none of your emotions are wrong. If you're feeling it, then it's real and it's right. But the way that you can tackle it is to let it come up and then let it go. And one of the ways that you can let it go is to do a spot of meditating, just like the superheroes in our superhero story. So meditation is, is a interesting thing. It sounds like a very grown up word when really it's a, it's a very simple concept. And that is just to sit and stop whatever it is that you're doing, to sit and to breathe, to sit and be in your body. And the funny thing about it is that on the outside, it looks like you're doing you've stopped and you're not doing anything, but the inside is still going like this. And all the, the bad, the sad, the mad, the happy, the joy, the everything, you may stop, but everything inside is still, is still going around. But when you are not doing anything, it gives you, it gives you an opportunity to look at the swirl in there and to see what's coming up and to let it kind of rise to the top and then let it go and to choose something else. Just like the, the superheroes in our story today, they were sitting and they were meditating and they were letting all of those feelings that they were having on a bad day come up so that they can acknowledge them and choose something different. And this is a technique that that I have been using for years. And uh, I actually, I teach it to my clients, not just to help them ease their mind, but there's one that I like to teach them that I call the bubble of protection. And I want to teach that to you today because I think it really, I think it really helps. So if you'd like to do this, just get comfortable where you are. And I want you to take a look at the superhero meditation postures that these guys have going. They are sitting down comfortably and they're sitting nice and tall, straight up and down. And this posture, it helps you stay alert while you're trying to focus on relaxing. And we're gonna use the breath to relax. So breathe with me in. Hold the breath. And 
let it out. Let your hands hang heavy, let your arms hang heavy, and get ready to imagine. Now, I'd like you to imagine a bubble. We can call it a bubble of protection, we can call it a bubble of power, whatever you want to call it. And I want you to ask yourself, what color is this bubble? Is it red? Is it blue? Is it orange? Is it purple? Has it got sparkles in it? Has it got amazing rainbows and flashes of light? Take a second and think about what the bubble looks like. And then think about what does the bubble feel like? because this is your personal bubble. No one else can come into this personal bubble because it's where you store your superpower. So this is your personal space where you are safe, where you are protected, and where you can get space from everything and everyone in the world right now. So you can breathe. And inside this bubble, if there's a mad, if there's a sad, even if there is a happy or a glad coming up, it's like walking down the street and saying hello to someone. Say, oh, hi. Oh, hi, sad. Oh, hi, mad. How are you? Okay. Then you let go. So let whatever's coming up come up. Say hello. And then say goodbye. So do that for a bit. Continue breathing. Continue trying to relax. Let those emotions come up and then let them go. And then I want you to ask yourself, how does it feel in the bubble now? This is your bubble of power. This is where you store your strength. So in your bubble, I'd like you to say, I choose to be powerful. I choose to be strong. I choose to be protected. Then take another breath. Let it out. And know that because this is your personal bubble, you can come back to it any time you want to just put the world on pause, to just take a break from everything around you and to go somewhere where you feel safe because that's what meditation is all about. Finding a place that is just yours, that is safe, where you can sort things out. So take another breath. Feel your fingers, move them around, move your toes around, listen to the noises in the room, and open your eyes. How do you feel? Well, I hope you feel a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more serene than you did when you started. So go back to the beginning of this. You can do this as many times as you want. It just takes practice. You can also find other meditations. If you, if you look on YouTube, there's, there's lots of meditations that are guided. Um, I use an app called Calm and they have great meditations for kids on there. So just find something that works for you and practice, 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 because the more you do it, the more safe and more powerful that bubble is going to feel. So, good luck. Take care. Choose to be powerful. Choose to be strong. 
and choose to take care of yourself. So thank you very much for joining us today. And if you liked story time, please hit subscribe so you don't miss one. And we will see you next Friday. This has been a Ginger Cat production.